A lot of times we operate not just in politics, but in life from a scarcity mindset that there is a limited amount of something and that we can't all have too much of this or that because there is a limit. And um, what I see here and a lot of what we've been talking about so far is that uh, it's not so much that there's there is not enough of something. It's that there the pool is small because we've kept it small. Right. And the pool should be bigger so that it can accommodate all the people that are here. And so when I think about um, and I'm so glad, Representative Nolan, you mentioned education because we know I'm also a teacher. So, you know, I was going to touch on education a little bit. But um, we have schools now like still that limit. Believe it or not, I've worked in schools that limit the amount of copy paper a teacher can get. OK. And, you know, I mean, everybody's gone to school. Everyone that's gone to school knows that. Worksheets, that's like, that's our primary source, right? Limited copy paper in schools. That's what we're dealing with. So when we say that we don't have enough, we're saying that we can't meet our bare minimum needs. And I don't believe that. I don't think that there's a scarcity. I don't think that there's not enough. I think it's just about time that we have people pay their fair share so that we can all uh, live to some level of uh, a standard that we know is acceptable. This is not acceptable. Okay, no copy paper in schools is not acceptable. Um, I'm just, you know, so there's my education piece. But in any case, um, the other thing that we run into now that we can, uh, I'll talk a little bit about housing, it's just the, when we have this scarcity mindset, when we have this, well, there's just not enough money. Now we can't invest into our affordable housing that we know that we need, that we know that we have a shortage of. So Something I see, especially as a teacher, is how much housing is, uh, uh, lack of housing is affecting our education. So now you have people that are already paying this big burden, right, of taxes, less housing opportunities for them, less education opportunities, no copy paper, figure out, don't lose your homework. Um, so we are overburdening a, a certain um, group of people, a large group of people, as per, um, you know, as we can see here. And I think that it's about time that we start having these real conversations about why is it that we have been okay with this for so long and why we will no longer be okay with that. Um, and then finally, just overall, these policies that we've had, these regressive tax policies that we've had that are burdening people, um, especially people with low income, that are already burdened by unfair housing practices that we've been talking about in our housing committee, right? That are, been, are dealing with the uh, homelessness crisis, that are dealing with the uh, lack of affordable housing, that are dealing with um, lack of eviction protection. And so we are overburdening a very large population. It's not even like we're saying, oh, you know, this is half of us. It's, this is majority of our population we're talking about. So I think it's about time that we really start talking about that and, and um, paying our fair share and not being okay with accepting a scarcity mindset. There is more than enough that we have of everything. I believe that. And um, we just have to make sure that we're paying our fair share so we can have enough for everybody. Thank you.